Good evening, VV Nation. My name is Ryan. Welcome to the channel, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. There's a hot topic in the headlines right now, and it has to do with Google's new chips, the TPUs. Now, that partnership with Broadcom has helped the stock soar even higher over the last few months. Now, there is another company out there, MediaTek, a Taiwanese company that worked along Broadcom and Google to design these chips. As well, tonight, we're going to look at TSM, the manufacturer behind these Google chips, along with NVIDIA. So if you're trying to get ahead of the curve and see where your investments should be, we shall use utilize the VectorVest software tonight in our proprietary indicators, see which investments lead the charge here when it comes to these top semiconductor companies. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, stick around and let's get started. All right, we're in the VectorVest software and these are the stocks I've got for you this evening. Google, no surprise, along with Broadcom, right? In addition to that, we do have NVIDIA. Now, you might be asking yourself, why do we have Taiwan Semi here? If you don't already know, they are the main manufacturer for both Google and NVIDIA. Now, there's another little ETF being an iShares Taiwanese ETF. This does have exposure. Now, just to give you a couple of the top holdings here, TSM, as of right now, is 23% of the top holdings. MediaTek comes third on the list here at 4.18 exposure as of right now. So if you want some exposure to the Taiwanese ecosystem and semiconductors, ETF to do so. So now let's break down these companies to see which ones should be on your radar. Now, as far as Google here at the top of the list, the reason why Google's at the top of the list is overall value, safety, and timing. VST, the three columns before relative value looks at long-term price appreciation, relative safety, just an indicator of risk and relative timing. Where is the short-term price trend? In favor of the bulls or in favor of the bears? These are oscillator indicators, zero to two scale. So above one, favorable rating. Below one, unfavorable rating. Further you get away from one speaks to the magnitude of that favor. So just looking at Google here, if we take a look, currently trading at 317, we valued at 284. Now, Google has been a huge pick for me this year because it was greatly undervalued compared to some of the other Mag7 companies. However, with the recent rally and above 300, you can see the momentum is with this position. Not a bad thing, just saying that investors are willing to pay a premium. Now, looking at long-term price appreciation, very favorable rating, safety, favorable rating, relative timing, favorable rating. And I'll be honest, if you look at the fundamentals of this company being RV and RS columns, solid fundamentals across the board. Now the ETF, it's just gonna be oscillated out because no fundamentals for an ETF. But the largest holding, TSM. So you can kind of link it to that one if you wish. Now looking at some of these other stocks here, Nvidia, greatly undervalued. Still like Nvidia, Taiwan Semi, undervalued. Broadcom and Alphabet, and I have a feeling with this news of their chips coming out in this partnership, that's what's pushing up the price right now. And that's okay. Investors are willing to pay a premium. If you look at the forecasted data on all of these stocks here, sales growth rate, double digits across the board, earnings growth rate, double digits across the board. Now, sales is going to be the fuel for the engine. And that engine? Earnings. So we want to see sales outpace earnings ideally. Google? Not the case. NVIDIA, strong fuel for that engine. 62% sales earnings, 31%. Taiwan Semi, outpacing earnings growth rate, 41% compared to 24%. Broadcom, 22 to 27. So as far as having sales greater than earnings here, NVIDIA, Taiwan Semi, definitely have my attention. But these other two forecasted data, not bad whatsoever. Other than forecasted data, if we go back to the technicals, RT relative timing, there's only one stock right now with an unfavorable RT rating, and that is going to be NVIDIA, which currently has a hold rating, while the other three stocks have a buy in the ETF also having a hold. But look at the RT 1.1. So we can see that this stock is still trending up overall. So now to get a better perspective and see if there's actually some opportunities with these stocks, let's jump in the charts. Are you looking for the best deal in town on world leading stock analysis? Look no further than the VectorVest Cyber Monday sale. 30 day trial, 99 cents. Take advantage of this limited time offer. Just go to vectorvest.com forward slash YT. Google, now to break down the chart here, the green line represents our valuation. Just as I mentioned ago, some value opportunities about six months ago, great opportunities there when it comes to Google. 
with price action rising to meet our valuation here, actually exceeding it over the last week or two. Now, down below, we have RT relative timing. This looks at the short-term price trend. You can see the RT relative timing being above one for the, for the most part, dipped below one rather briefly. And that was the low here, going back into favorable territory in the short-term price trend in favor of the bulls ever since. Now, in addition to that, down below, we have earnings per share, 12-month leading forecast. The fact that it's rising lower left, upper right, that's exactly what we like to see here at VectorVest. In addition, sales growth rate. Again, forecasted data coming in at 16% right now, but six months ago, that rate was only 12%. So I'd like to see the sales growth rate rising as we are. Now, earnings growth rate is declining. The only benefit I see of this is when sales growth rate could potentially be greater than earnings growth rate, giving a lot of fuel for that engine. Next stock this evening will be NVIDIA. We see the value rising over the last six months, coming in at $225, only trading $183. But right now, price action stuck a little bit of a channel here, 184, pretty range bound, down to 165. This blue line is our stop price. Once price action breaks below this blue line, if it does, that's when the sell recommendation would be given in the VectorVest software. Now, some warning signs here. We do see RT relative timing dipping below one, showing that the short-term price trend not in favor of the bulls. However, it's starting to turn around right now, coming in at 0 0.98. We get some momentum and potentially break this level of resistance around 184. That RT could go back above one and show some opportunities in the near future. Now, as far as the long-term investment perspective, earnings per share, nice steady rise there with earnings per share. Sales growth rate is faltering, as we noticed starting out six months ago, around 69%, now coming in at just 62%, while the earnings growth rate also on the decline here from 40% now to just 32%. The fact that these forecasted data models are both moving in a downward direction does have me some concern, but the numbers are phenomenal, especially for a MAG7 company and a multi-trillion dollar company. So I'm not gonna be bearish on NVIDIA by all means, but if it breaks below this 165, the sell recommendation is set at 173 right now, giving a little warning. But if we break below this 165, some great buying the dip opportunities might just reveal itself once again when it comes to NVIDIA. Now, the next stock we have is TSM. This is the manufacturer for both Google and NVIDIA's chips. So it doesn't really matter which team you're on. They're both using TSM. I love TSM. I got a lot of family members that own this company, full disclosure. Look at value, rising lower left, upper right. Company is undervalued, coming in at 320 here, well above our stop price. So the buy recommendation does stay intact right now. In our stop price, it's a 13-week moving average adjusted for the company's fundamentals. So if the company has good fundamentals, we will loosen that up, give the stock a little bit more wiggle room to grow per se. Now, if the company has poor fundamentals, we will tighten that up, mitigate losses early. And just looking at the trend right now, RT relative timing has been above one this entire time, letting our subscribers know that the short-term price trend is in an uptrend currently. And with rising earnings per share, not a bad stock to have on your radar. Now, as far as sales growth rate, earnings growth rate, sales has increased over the last six months here from 35% to now at 41%, while earnings growth rate, drops from 25% to just 24%. But the fact that sales is outpacing earnings growth rate by such a large amount here does create a great bull case for this stock going forward on a fundamental basis. Next up will be Broadcom, the company who partnered with Google to help design these chips. You can see the company lower left, upper right. I like price action. Long as it stays above this stop price here, keeping us in the trade the last six months. Hey, I'm here for it. We got a buy recommendation on the stock right now. The only caveat, this stock is overvalued compared to the VectorVest system. Value, 234, currently trading at 382. So if you're more of a value buyer, you could consider something like TSM or NVIDIA per se, and potentially Google if we get a little bit of a pullback. Now, as far as RT relative timing, again, above one the last six months, letting us know that the bulls are in control right now. As far as the forecasted data, we can see it dipped here, went from what, 20% now to 22%, and the earnings growth rate creeping from 26% now to just 27%. And yes, I would like to see sales growth rate outpace earnings, but both are double digits, and seeing those earnings forecasts rise over the last six months, not a bad thing to see. Now, here's the last position I have for you this evening. It's going to be an 
iShares Taiwanese ETF. See, about six months ago, the stock was trading around $55. Right now, $64. Not a lot of volatility, but hey, nice steady eddy, lower left, upper right, well above our stop price, RT above one the last six months. Now, as far as forecasted data, because it's an ETF, it's not available. But again, the major holdings here, the largest one, TSM, over 20%, and the third largest holding going to be MediaTek at just over 4% as of today. And again, MediaTek is a Taiwanese firm that helped Broadcom and Google design these TPUs. Now, I hope you enjoyed tonight's presentation. If you did, hit the like button. If you found it informative, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Hey, VV Nation. If you wanna take control of your financial future and make smarter investing decisions, you're in the right place. Here on the VectorVest channel, we cut out the guesswork just data-driven insights that work, showing you when to buy, what to buy, and when to sell. And we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers and every click helps grow VV Nation. So hit the subscribe, tap the bell icon, and start investing with confidence today.